Good evening, good evening, Jamaica and Jamaicans overseas who have been following the issue of our students uh, in Ukraine. I wanted to let you know that the 24 students that left Lviv earlier today, uh, you heard about their uh, bus drive being uh, disrupted so that they had to take the rest of the journey on foot, that they have uh, reached a border point, an agreed border point. Uh, of course, these areas are extremely crowded, so it will take time for them to go through. Regrettably, we understand that two of the students are not feeling well, uh, one in particular because of the cold. She's currently getting care in an ambulance now at that border crossing point. Ms. Seely and uh, our Polish contact on the other side are on their way to the border point and uh, they do have a heated bus that is ready to accommodate the 24 students when they will have crossed through. And as I've indicated before, we've made arrangements for accommodations and food on that side. And of course, we know that arrangements are being made in respect of flights back home as soon as they are available. So the, we, I'm just asking for uh, some calm and understanding understand the crowds that are there at this point in time at each of the border crossings. We have had confirmation from the Polish, for, Polish Ministry of Foreign Affairs that they have received the names of our students. We have sent them formally, so they should not have a, um, any difficulty in entering Poland. The difficulty now is the sheer size of the crowds and therefore the time it takes to get through. So I'm asking you Jamaica and all our Jamaican friends, Pray for them, pray for their strength, their good health, and their resilience for their passage through onto the other side. Thank you so much for giving them your every good wish and prayer.